Hello there. Come on, it's our civil servants that are not fit for purpose, not departments. As per usual, please like, subscribe and comment below. And when subscribing, please do press that little bell, but also select the All option, or you won't get any notifications when I publish a new video. It really bugs me when politicians and pundits claim that this government department or that government department isn't fit for purpose, when what they're really saying is that plans are being held up somewhere in the system by people. Right now we have Priti Patel calling her own home office not fit for purpose, and ministers and business are saying that the Treasury is watering down plans for free ports. What are they saying? The filing cabinets won't open? That the shredder has gone on a walkabout shredding frenzy? That the lifts won't stop at the correct floor? And that the stairs don't work? Are the doors jammed shut and the keys not working? Obviously not. It's the people within a department that are the obstacles. And it doesn't take all of them to be obstacles either, just a few well-placed key bureaucrats. So if our elected politicians can't get a manifesto commitment through, like free ports, through the Treasury, then that's down to a handful of well-placed key bureaucrats. And if Priti Patel cannot get her one flagship policy through the Home Office, that will also be down to a few well-placed key bureaucrats. And that tells you who really runs this country. And remember, these well-placed key bureaucrats are the result of decades of our top-level education and civil service training programmes, all designed to churn out good little Europeans by the truckload. Oh yes, they are all still there and stuck like barnacles to the hull of HMS UK. And when the bureaucracy doesn't want to see an ideological change from EU control to UK control, then inertia is a marvellous weapon to have in your armoury. And it will take decades to shift them, because the ones going through the system right now will be a product of the training being given to them by those in positions of responsibility right now, who are themselves the product of previous pro-EU training regimes. The correct sort of people are still quietly being rubber-stamped through to the top in the same old way. And the very fact that both the Treasury and the Home Office are now under fire for not performing for Brexit UK backs that up. Now many would just say it's the minister's fault and they should be sacked or resign. But I've always wondered why it is that the elected person must fall on their sword, but the faceless bureaucrat standing behind them always go the full career, get their pension and a gong or two in the bargain. Now there was some movement on this during the internal Westminster Brexit war as it hotted up a couple of years ago, with one or two top civil servants going earlier than planned. But the mandarins now seem to have reasserted their authority within their departments. Is it not time for a cull? So do you think our civil service needs a root and branch reform? Please like and comment below.